Hey, this is a, oh, just a short little video on this J&J &J lighter I've had for months sitting here, but I just had a screw broke. It's, you can see which one it is. It's one of these ones that flips up, okay? These are real excellent lighters, by the way, okay, if you get a working one. All right. But anyway, I thought, well, you know, I'll just check out the tank here, and uh, and uh, I, I stuck it back together, and I was having some trouble, and most of the trouble I had was with an irregular flame going up and going down. So, I thought about, well, what could be the problem? So I replaced the... Uh, I replaced the the sponge inside it, you know, to uh, um, make it a little bit easier to shut on and off. You know, I tried to put a felt in there. It really wasn't uh, thick enough or condensed, uh, uh, you know, really like dense material to help stop the flow of gas once you put pressure screwing in the burner valve down. So I found a little uh, old sponge that I used and cut it down and and that works a lot a lot better. You can see here I got a little bit of a flame going here. Now it's really consistent. You know right down to the smallest of flames. And I stand here and I was kind of sitting back in my chair here. Oops, I knocked the flame out. This little thing on top is how you adjust the flame height. So let me turn it up a little bit. And I was thinking what in the world would cause that flame? Because I put another sponge in it. Things rebuilt right. So I was thinking like, what in the world is going to cause that sponge or cause that flame to be erratic? And I got to thinking like, well, you know what? A lot of the, these J&Js, they're built a little bit different as far as their mechanisms, okay? You can take the whole mechanism out here. And one thing you won't find on this is a wick that goes down to your butane. You got to think of like, I'm going to stick some cotton in that tank. And you think, well, what's that going to do? Well, for one thing, it's, it's going to soak up and it's going to give a, more of a, a consistent, steady supply of gas up through here. Because, you know, if you just got liquid in here, and of course air rises to the top here, well, you're going to get air up in here, then uh, the flame's going to go down, and as soon as it gets a little bit more butane in it, then the flame's going to go up. But if you got, this is my guess, and this is my theory on, but if you got a, uh, a uh, you know, something in here, like a cotton or whatever, that's going to soak up, it's going to have gas basically liquid you know gas because once uh, you put the butane in here it's going to be liquid okay it's going to be all throughout if you put a sponge through here so you're going to have a more consistent flow of gas to your burner okay so if you take your lighter apart and you got one like this and you pull the old uh, cotton or whatever out of it I must have pulled the cotton out of this in earlier because there wasn't anything in it like I said I've had this lighter sitting around for months I just had to drag it out tonight just to piddle with it a little bit. But you can tell that flame's been really consistent. Okay. By the way, these old uh, uh, J and J lighters like this, uh, they are very 
easy to work on lighters. You don't need a whole lot of tools to work on them. And they're simple, you know. The only thing that shuts that gas off is this lid right here. And you see the little stopper that's in the inside of the lid. And most of the time when you buy these lighters, that stopper is just ate out. What I do is just get a leather hole punch and some silicone rubber and maybe a razor blade and you know cut it with a hole punch appropriate size and cut it down where it just mounts flush inside this cap here which is uh, you gotta realize this is a springy cap okay so and when you close the lid it just basically just like put my finger over that all right just shuts gas off anyway these are excellent lighters if you guys want a butane lighter to you know that you could fix yourself I'd start out with something like these you know, work your way up. Don't start out with something real complicated. It's liable to discourage you. And next thing you know, you got a parts lighter. You got to kind of work up on things. And it don't hurt too when you're taking disassembling lighters to take it apart carefully. Lay every part down in order that you take it out and take a picture of it. And that way, if you get all confused there from working on it, you know, you got a backup photo that tells you how everything was. Uh, you know installed in the lighter now the only way that's going to give you fits is if somebody put the lighter together trying to fix it themselves and uh, you know it uh, I don't know if you can see it guys but there's still a flame there you turn the light off when you can get a steady consistent small flame like that you know your lighters are working good you got a good clean valve system going steady everything's just perfect you know and that's the way you want it anyway if you got any questions just give me a shout